we are at a stage that we can't sustain this process for much longer. Uh, and the reality is that the negotiators don't have the luxury of making the easier concessions first and leaving the more difficult concessions for further down the road. Uh, the comprehensive agreement should take into account all of the concerns. And that's the difficulty uh, that the negotiators are facing now for uh, coming up with that kind of uh, final settlement. The fact is that the two sides are far apart on most of the sticking points. But I would argue that all the technical issues have technical solutions. The question is if the two sides uh, are able to bridge the gap when it gets to the underlying political disagreements. I think number one, in order to resolve this crisis, both sides need to have the political will uh, to make the painful concessions uh, that uh, is necessary for moving forward. That also means that they need to be courageous and they need to have uh, the, the, the open up the political space that is necessary for sustaining a diplomatic process and then for standing and defending uh, the compromise at the end of the day. And that requires, again, courage, leadership, and political will. Uh, and if we have these three combinations, in a matter of months, I think, we can come up to the solution that the two sides would consider acceptable.